I'm here now, yes. <laughs> hey guys, it's Vic, and this is my island right now. Am I still three stars? We're actually gonna go check. Let's go, let's go take a peepsy very quickly, and then you can oogle all my flowers in a bit. As the title suggests, I'm just gonna be going through my island today. I got a spicy three star island. Uh, not much is set up yet, but I want to show you what I have so far because we're gonna do some renovations soon Hopefully like this weekend or something and then I can have an update tour eventually. Yes, I am Isabel. Please tell me Eh, uh, see <laughs> See her three stars forever, baby. Someday we'll escape. Someday we'll escape All right now. We're actually back at the right place. So before we start uh, obviously, we gotta spin this wheel. Spin the wheel! What number do you think it's gonna stop on? Do you like one of those Facebook channels? It's like, if I pick the right number, you have to leave a like on this video! See, how many of you guys get kind of on eight? If you got eight, you gotta leave eight likes on the video. Yep, that's how it works. <laughs> All right, so here's the actual tour. Welcome to my beach. We're all the way down here all the way down here on the beach And I have a good amount here and basically what I've done with a lot of my beach as you'll see is I've just kind of covered it in a lot of palm trees like a stupid amount of palm trees I have palm trees going way up the side I got all of my palm trees from other islands where I pretty much just shoveled them up when I was on the mystery islands with the doll boys and now they're just all mine I can go to the other side and you'll see there are plenty more palm trees over there. Or just the one over here. Just the one over here. You can ignore uh, you can ignore the little yatta in the sand here. This is a little hangout spot if me and my friends come over. We got eight chairs. Well, seven chairs and a nice lay down chair. Don't lay down in this chair if you have friends over though. Because what they'll do is they'll stand in front of the chair. And then you like, you can't get up. <laughs> I have even more palm trees over there. But the important thing about this island is that it currently is a flower disaster. As you can see, if I walk around here, none of my flowers are sorted, in the slightest. We have, you know, we got regular pansies next to blue and purple pansies, next to other pansies, next to tulips, next to pansies, next to tulips. If I go over here, there's a whole two of these. Wow. And then guess what? If I go over here, there's more, oh, I just broke one of my flowers, no. We got more of them over here. It's just a, it's a little bit of a mess. I want to breed them out, which is taking a little bit. So it's kind of here. One of the areas that I can be proud of, though, is I do have this nice setup here for Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny. Let's see, what do I have inside Able Sisters right now? Hey, Sprinkle, what are you doing? Are you, you should buy this. Could you guys imagine Sprinkle on this? I bet it'd be really cute. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that cursed dress. <laughs> uh, cursed things. Cursed things are blessed, and you think about it. All right, so we're out here with our goatee on the ground that we'll pick up, so no one has to see that. We have more palm trees over here. They go all the way up the edge of the island, by the way. Like, if I keep following this shoreline, they just keep on going. I got some empty shore up here, but there's still a couple more over here. I think the real question is, do I take the extra pieces of beach that I haven't covered in palm trees and put more in there? Because, like, I could, but I'm kind of okay with, like, having some space where people can actually exist on the beach. Oh, we... Not sure where the coconuts. Welcome to my mukbang, you guys. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be eating two coconuts. Mmm. Ah, uh, yeah. So if we go up here, we gotta first scare away this bug. This is my secret mum breeding ground. Plus some pansies, because I can't keep things, you know, apart anymore, it seems like. I don't have a watering can, otherwise I just water them all. But then I actually have one garden that actually is properly put together, and it's this one up here. I have a little garden to get a lot of pink hyacinths. And the reason I want so many pink hyacinths is actually like for a reason, which we'll get to in a minute. Because first, we gotta get to somewhere good on the island. And it's not this. This is just more of a breeding disaster. I, <laughs> what happened was about a week ago, a bunch of people came into my island and I asked them, hey guys, can, can you water all of my flowers? And they did. And I've learned from other people that if you water people's flowers enough, they have a very high chance of breeding. So this kind of became a mess very fast. It went from a very like relaxed, basic little spawn of lilies to this in the span of a couple days. Oops! And if you think I've messed with it since, you'd be wrong. <laughs> I have a campsite over here, and I made our campsite very cute. If people want to hang out, you know, shoot some hoops, they can at least shoot this basketball up and down. Wow! Wow! Fantastic island adventure! Wow! <laughs> But then if they don't want to do that, they also can play with this. This turns on and off. 
I actually bought it because I had this in my, uh, my ABD, which is pretty cool. One of my favorite things that I did was I took a bunch of tire toys and I kind of just put them together. So if you're hanging out with less than eight friends, because if you have eight friends, it's not really going to work out, you can kind of have fun on the tire toys. You know, climb up this slide, play with the springy horses, and thankfully they do move. Because, like, if these didn't move, that'd be blasphemy. You actually can sit on this, which is really nice, but it's cute. And the one thing, the really great thing on this side of the island, is that I have this little heart. I need to get more pink hyacinths because I want to fill the entire heart with them. As you can see down here, I have some red and some white ones. I'll go around a little circle for them. And whenever I, I bring people over to the island, a lot of people like to come over here because it's like the most complete part of the island. I have the heart. I have the whole setup over here on the campsite. And it just, it feels good, you know, to have like something vaguely complete. I'm sure I'll end up messing with it later to add some more like fancy terraforming. But right now, I feel like this is like one of the nicest corners of my island. A lot of this part of the island over here, unfortunately, is untouched. So I'll kind of just walk through it real quick here. There's a little bit going on in the back. I have one of those nice little pads so you can just sneak on through to the back. I've done nothing up there, and you can tell because it's just all, <laughs> it's all weeds and pansies and pretty much nothing more. Got a couple of items over here that we don't really need on the tour. I don't think you guys are here to see random sticks. So get out of here. Said, come on, get out of there. Thank you. I have a decline here to get down. My entire island is connected, luckily, through that area in the back. Another silly thing I've done on the island is I've made pretty much the entire island pear trees at this point. Because I am not only, then, the unpairable pear. <laughs> that means that, of course, I gotta have all pear, all the time. My thing? No! You're perfect! My fruits? Pears. Me? Buy a pear. <laughs> Although, I had to ch eventually change this. Because right now, it's kinda, it's kinda out of date. Yeah! Yeah, look at that. That's better. I like that. Alright. So over here, we have more flowers. <laughs> I don't actually have enough space for them to breed, so they're just kind of they're just kind of here, slowly branching outward. I'm gonna eventually fix that. And then over here, if you make your way all the way to the side, and you're like, huh, what can I do over here? You know what you can do? You can get on this chair, and that's it. That's all you can do over in this corner. You can look out at the sunset, cause like, oh my god, at the sunset on this island, you can kind of see the sun setting. Like, over there on the left? Did I just say you can see the sun setting? Of, qu of course you can see the sun setting. It's literally sunset. I have more beach over here. Just a couple of palm trees. I have to eventually move my bridges. Because this bridge, while it is in a nice spot, it kind of is also in the way of this house. And I don't plan to move Hornsby's house. Speaking of Hornsby, sit right here. Hey, Hornsby. I want to be able to have the houses in kind of like a flushed pattern. Where it's like a zigzag back and forth. I have Hornsby's house up there, with him just sitting. I have one house here. And then I have another house over here, which unfortunately isn't in line with the rest of the homes, which is kind of a problem. I have to fix it eventually. <laughs> I put a tiny cat grass outside of Bob's house, because he is a cat, and I just, I can't take it away. I feel like it just, I feel like it just belongs there for Bob. As you can see, the flowers do continue to grow here. This problem is that I actually had my museum right here in the past. And when I took out the museum, I kind of left the patch of 6x6 six six hybrid pansies that I had here. It was this patch, and it was this patch. And they didn't leave. So we ended up just kind of keeping the mess. Yay! <laughs> and then at the bottom here, these houses are actually in line. We have the one, we have the other one, and then finally we have this one over here. Unfortunately, <sighs> Marina's house is one back. And to move Marina's house, I would have to, like, legitimately take her house, move it somewhere else, and then move it back. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move this house so it's also just one too far up. And so it kind of looks like it's on purpose. No one has to know. <laughs> if we take our lovely path right back, you can see that we do have one more house all the way over here on the left. I wanted to give Antonio his own spot over by the water because Antonio actually is one of my favorite villagers in the game. I had him during my Wild World days, and while he's not like a number one favorite of a lot of people, when I saw him on an island during one of my streams, I knew I had to have him. Here we have some more lovingly um, unorganized flowers, and then we finally get back to my house! So that's the area over here. If I walk through the mess of pansies again, plus some golden roses, I didn't, I didn't plant these. My roses were actually watered and created these golden flowers, so 
they're here now. <laughs> it makes people think that I have a five-star island, and then they start walking over here, and they're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> no. And then this. This is gonna be the last part. The piece de resistance. The one area that I am probably proud of the most, besides the area on the top right, is this area leading up to the museum. I tried to make a pond to look like a star, right? I wanted to make a star pond, and instead I kind of just made a squid pond. But you know what? I think that fits the brand, so it's staying. <laughs> so if we walk over here, you're gonna see it's very nice. I have some in-season bushes. I have a whole bunch of flowers. I can go over to this side. And it just, it feels good. It feels great. I have a couple of little waterfalls going away from it, but I have to connect them still to the river, so it's not really perfect yet. By the magic of watering, I almost have two layers of just almost all hybrid flowers just surrounding this. It's a couple of reds that I gotta move out to make space for more flowers, but it just, it looks really good. And I'm really happy to be blessed with so many hybrids. I got a lot of these from Mystery Islands, and then I've been breeding all the rest. Like everything on the edge, like that purple, these two purples over here, these oranges, all these I did not put down. They're all hybrids that have bred off the other hybrids, which is really cool. I like the pur- the uh, not the purple. I like the blue pansies a lot, that's actually why I wear it in my hair. It's just, it's good. The rest of the area over here hasn't really been touched yet, and we're gonna ignore that money tree. Shh, pretend you don't see it. Pretend you don't see it. Shh. This is all places that I eventually will turn into something. I've been taking a lot of the trees that I've been moving out of the way from other spots like my campsite and just kind of moving them over here to be out of the way for now. But I have to like figure out what I'm going to do eventually with it. But yeah, that's going to be the end of everything. Now, before I let you go, I hope you make sure you say goodbye to Carl. Because Carl is our favorite island resident. As you can see, he's just hes just a great, a great bunch of fun. <laughs> Look at him. Come on, he's, he's perfect. How would you ever think anything is wrong with him? Look at that beautiful spine. <laughs> we made him on accident, and I was like, you know what? No. This is Carl now. So make sure that you say bye to Carl, and make sure you come back when I fix my island. Because right now, my island has way too many flowers, and really not enough scenery. But the next time I do one of these, I want to do like an update when I get to four stars, maybe, to show you guys how the island is going. And then when we get to five stars, then it'll look really nice, hopefully. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Ah, uh, I do love my house. Even if it's not perfect yet, it makes me happy. Like, there's just so many things in here. Like, you know what? That's what we call a W. <laughs>